What's up, guys? Sloppy Web Blow here. Um, and Vita uh, has now the GeForce experience with the uh, 780 card that I just got. Um, I think it's been out for a little longer, but I never used it before. It definitely came with the uh, 780 experience. So I figured I'd go over it with you guys. So anybody who's going to be getting the 780 or any 7, um, 770 or whatever else they're going to be making in the... Uh, in the upcoming time, so it'll help you out with you guys to let you know what you could do with it and how it works and all that stuff. All right. Um, if you start on the bottom left here, so it says refresh game list. Obviously, if you click it, it's going to refresh game list, checking for updates. Okay. First thing it's going to do is see if you have any games that are hiding in your computer that it doesn't see. It'll refresh it. Okay. So that's what that does. This is optimize all. So if you click that button, it's going to go from let me go up here. It's going to go from current, which means your current settings when you go to play the game, that's what it's at, to optimal when you click it. All right? So if you see, like, on Dusak's Human Re uh, Revolution, everything is matched up on optimal. As you click each game, you'll see using optimal settings. Okay? And then what I want to show you is if you see here, it'll actually show you what it does is, like, shadow quality, It'll show you, um, I have the screen kind of compacted, so uh, um, otherwise with the iPad it's kind of tough to do it. Uh, anastropic filtering sharpens textures, so it'll actually give you a little uh, ambient occlusion, creates more realistic shadowing, gives you a little idea of what each part will do. So pretty much what you do is you click the game here. If you want to do it the easy way, you're not too sure about it, you don't want to screw anything up, um, what I want you to do is just click optimize. Okay, It's a simpler way of... Um, because what it does is the technology now will scan your computer according to the hardware that you have and optimize it for you. It's a lot easier for guys who just don't know really what you're doing. You don't want to screw anything up. Okay, so that's what it does. So you click each game. You'll see current configurations, what the settings are, and optimal settings. All right, so that's what you're going to do with that part. I just wanted to show you. So like I said, each game has its own thing. Uh, actually, like even... With Metro Last Light, I'm using very high. It recommends high tessellation or recommends off, which is stupid, but that's what it decides, it, where it thinks optimized is, and I have it at very high. But that's okay. Still not going to give you a bad experience. Now, drivers. You click the drivers button. If you see, you have check for updates. Okay. And here's your current driver. And as you see right here, your driver is up to date. I'm going to click check for updates. If you see down here, it says checking for updates. Um, and I'll show you a little more into this in a few minutes. And there is none. And it'll give you, which is kind of nice now, instead of going to Invita site, which I still recommend, guys, even with the drivers, I still recommend going to uh, Invita website and download it directly, but that's just how I like to do it. It's not a bad way to do it this way either. But what you'll see is, is there's the version, release highlights, and it gives you a little highlights where instead of going to on Vita's website and reading what the new driver, what it'll give you performance-wise and stability. Even if you click on GeForce.com, it'll go to GeForce.com, which is all about um, different things you can do with SLI and all that stuff.